we're here on the red carpet at the 2012 Young Hollywood Awards, where we're going to catch up with Ashley Green about the end of Twilight and the possibility of her starring in Fifty Shades of Grey. Congratulations on winning the award. Now, I spoke to you a couple years ago, and you got another award here a couple years ago, mm -hmm. and you ended up taking the subway here. Just want to make sure that you didn't have to take the subway again tonight. No, um, <laughs> I did not. I got here extremely early this year. But yeah, I'm excited to be back. I'm glad I made it. You know, yes, I'm, we're glad you made it. I'm a big, big fan of the Young Hollywood Awards. That's great. Now listen, we're a big fan of Alice Cullen. What's going to be the saddest thing about leaving your character behind? Um, you know, I, I think it's... She's probably one of the easiest characters I've ever had to play um, because I related to her on a lot of levels and I got to go to work every day and be perky and cheerful and happy and um, she didn't really have a lot of uh, sorrow and, and pain and uh, wasn't too difficult so you know I'll miss having that ease and, and being I think so comfortable with the character that it just made you know by the second third film everything was really easy and fun and we got to kind of play around so I'll miss that and of course just the interaction with the rest of the cast. Did it really come to feel like a family? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, we kept saying it's kind of like family and kind of like high school uh, because we kept going away for a couple months and coming back. Um, but you know, the nice thing is that it's the end of the saga, but it's not the end of our friendship. So, do you when you envision what Alice's future is, like, do you do you have any ideas about it? Um, what her future is? Yes. I mean, <laughs> same thing she's doing. Jasper, <laughs> Renesme. I guess she's probably going to kidnap Renesme and, right. and She'll be doll good her end. up. And oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, and what about Apparition? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, um, the Apparition I'm really excited about. It's my first lead in a studio film, um, and it's something I'm really excited for everyone to see. I mean, uh, shot it in Germany, worked on it for three or four months, and it's this, you know, it's, it's a thriller, and it's scary, um, and it's about kind of this supernatural presence that haunts this couple. Um, are you, or, so are you part of the haunted couple? Yes, unfortunately. I am. Um, but uh, but it, it's nice because it, it, it has a lot of that in it, but it also does focus on, on their relationship and, and what they're going through while this is happening. So it was kind of a nice twist for me to be able to have both of those elements rather than just like, you know, all the scare and all the screaming and, and all that stuff. It didn't make you believe in the supernatural, did it? You know, I, um, I will not <laughs> watch any of those shows. I said... If I wasn't in this movie, I don't know that I would be able to go see it um, because that stuff freaks me out. I don't really lean one way or the other on it. I just kind of leave it alone completely. So, One thing, everyone, all our readers are really obsessed with Fifty Shades. Have you read it? Um, I have read it. Um, you know, I feel like I kind of had to. It's yeah. now pop culture and uh, they're making it into a film. And uh, so, yeah, I'm not finished with all of them, but I'm on the third book. Thank you so much for watching. For more videos from HollywoodLife.com, just click subscribe.